This is immigration attorney Paris Malakuti, and in this video again we're talking about K-1 fiancé visas. But we're not talking about how to apply for the K-1 fiancé visa. We're talking about what happens after the foreign fiancé arrives into the United States. Well, as the famous show 90 Day Fiancé has made uh, very well known, a K-1 fiancé visa has 90 days once they arrive into the country to both marry the U.S. citizen, okay, the petitioner, and also apply for a green card. That application for a green card is called adjustment of status. One thing that is overlooked sometimes by couples that are thinking about going through the K-1 process or going through the K-1 process is that once that foreign fiance comes into the United States, 90 days may sound like a lot of time, but it's really not a lot of time, okay? Once they come here and you wanna make the arrangements to get married and then gather all the documentation and apply for the green card properly, it's actually, a, it can be a short time frame, And sometimes that short time frame can catch couples off guard and either they blow the 90 days and they end up having a little bit more of a complex case if they apply after 90 days, or they end up scrambling and being worried and scared and really stressed out about trying to gather everything together to prepare again for both the marriage and for the actual green card application. So one thing to keep in mind is if you're gonna think about doing the K-1 fiance visa, A, think about getting a professional, a licensed immigration attorney like us to represent you. But B, if you're gonna do it on your own, make sure you gather up as much relevant documentation as possible ahead of time so that you're not scrambling during those 90 days, especially if you have a difficult time getting one of the documents. That is one of the biggest causes for delay for couples to apply is they have a hold up because they're missing a document or two documents and it's taking a long time to get that we know how bureaucracy is especially during COVID times things slow down if you have to ask a government office uh, for a birth certificate marriage certificate name change document or otherwise that could take you several weeks it could even take several months to get it so keep in mind 90 days not that long okay if you're going through a k-1 fiance visa process that's it for my tip if you have any specific questions about your case if you want to get into your specifics click on the link below book a paid consultation with us we can get into the details and similarly if you don't want to deal with the hassle and details of having to figure this stuff out for yourself and if you just want to hire a qualified immigration lawyer to deal with this on your behalf and represent you also click on the link below book a consultation we can get into the timeline prices and any weaknesses your case may have that's it for today's tip have a great one